Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to encrypt your Windows 10 or Windows 11 device using Microsoft Intune. So let's say you want to actually encrypt your device as using BitLocker with your endpoint manager. I'm going to show you the simplest way to do this from your endpoint manager admin center. So to actually encrypt your device with BitLocker, what you need to do is just go to endpoint security. And from endpoint security here, you can see we have managed. So click on disk and encryption. And from disk and encryption, here we have, we need to actually create a new policy. So just click create, a, create policy and then select the right platform, which is going to be Windows 10 and later, which is Windows 10 and 11. And here we can actually, we only have one profile to select, which is BitLocker. And then we can click create. So here, let me just click, let me just call this, let me just call this BitLocker. And then you can actually add a description if you want. And let me just click next. And here, this is where we actually need to do the configuration of our device. So it says, first of all, enable full disk encryption for OS and fixed data drive. I'm going to select yes for that. It says require storage card. I'm, not, I'm just going to leave that not configured and hide prompt about third party. I'm going to leave that not configured. Configure client driven recovery password rotation. I'm going to actually just enable rotation on Azure AD and hybrid join devices. So here it says um, BitLocker. I'm going to actually go for the operating system drive settings. I'm going to click configure and say startup authentication required. And then, well, let's see, it says configure encryption method for operating system drive. Let's see what we have here. But I can actually say startup authentication required and can say yes. And here you can see it's compatible TPM startup. This I can actually say you can click block. I can actually just put not configure because I'm using a virtual machine. And says so compatible TPM startup pin. I can put I can just select not configured and also compatible TPM startup key and pin. I can just let me just put that not configured. Um, disable BitLocker on device where TPM is incompatible. Let me leave that to not configured. Uh, let me see. Enable pro reboot recovery message and URL. So it says the minimum length for the system drive recovery. I'm going to just put six here. And then we can, you see, we have one other option like uh, BitLocker remo re removable drive settings. I'm not going to actually configure that. So I'm going, to, I'm going to select next for this. And for the scope tags, I'm just going to skip that and click next. And for the assignment, I'm just going to select. Let me just add groups and not just for all devices. So I'm going to go for my Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm just going to select that. Click next and then click create. So this is actually going to take some time for this to be delivered to your devices. What we need to see, see target says MDM. So what we need to do right now is let me go to all my devices. And here you can see we have, a, for example, I have my C001, which is actually a corporate device. So here I want to, I want to actually sync this, um, sync the policy I just created. Let me just sync it to actually sync with my device on prem. So it's actually trying to um, initiate a sync. So let me go back again to my Windows 11 device here. So I need to actually log on. And then I will need to go to my settings. On our settings, I need to go to account. On our account, I need to go to my access work or school. And here we can just click on the drop down list and then click info. And here we can actually try to actually sync the policy that was just applied to this device. Because by doing this, it will allow your device to actually bring to actually sync every policy that has been configured in Intune with your device. What I actually did before now and also in Intune, we actually sent all the policy you've configured in Intune to your devices, but this is going to actually re retrieve all the in, um, all this policy we've already configured to your device. So I'm trying to make this to make everything goes more faster. So here you can see, I, mean, I just received um, a message which says, 
your work or school requires this device to be encrypted select this notification to encrypt this device so i'm going to select this so let's just click on that and it says um are you ready to start encryption well it says i don't have any other disk encryption software installed encrypt all my disk so i'm going to select that and then click yes So now it says that this device can't use a trusted platform only administration must set this to allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. Options um, in the required additional notification and startup policy. Well, you see, this um, message I'm receiving actually because I'm using a virtual machine. So I actually need to configure this using uh, my group policy for it to work. Okay, now I created a policy to actually um, allow me to disable TPM on this device. Here we are receiving the same message again to encrypt our device. So let's just try and double click on that. So it says, I don't have any other disk encryption software installed. Encrypt all my disks. So let me just click yes. And now you can see I'm not, I'm no more receiving that error message I received. I just received some minutes ago because I created a policy from my domain control to actually disable the TPM on this virtual machine so let's just wait for some seconds and see what we can get so here it says um prepare your device for bitlocker encrypt the drive so let's just click next and it says an, an existing drive or unlocated free space on the hard disk will be used to turn on bitlocker so let me just click next so this is creating new windows recovery environment drive and moving windows recovery environment to recovery drive so just wait for some seconds or some minutes for this to get um, encrypt and now let me just pause this video and come back again when the drive the encryption is complete okay we can see it goes very very fast it says you will no longer be able to use window recovery environment unless it is manually enabled and moved to the system drive so when you turn on bitlocker your computer performs the following steps encrypt the drive so let's just click next and it says, um, it says, choose how to unlock your device at startup. First of all, I'm going to enter a password and I'm going to just enter the following. Let me just enter and then enter the password again. Let me just click next. So the password provided does not meet the minimum length required because during my um, encryption in, in Intune, I actually put, it says the password must that use the uppercase and lowercase letter numbers, symbols, and space. So I'm going to use do the following. And then let me enter my password again. And then click next. And here it says, um, how do you want to actually save this password? The best thing to do is actually save to your Azure AD account. So we're going to select that. So you can see right now it's trying to save to Azure AD. And then we click next. And then encrypt use disk only. So let me just select that because that goes very fast. And just click next. Encryption mode. Um, mode. Let me just select that. And then click next. Are you ready? And let's click continue so our device is going actually going to encrypt but the best option is is, is encrypting your uh, encrypt, encrypt, encryption in progress so what we need to do right now is let this actually encrypt and then let's restart our device so before we start our device let me go back again to my intune environment and if i go to devices and all devices and here is my c001 as our windows 11 device where we just encrypt our disk so let me click on that and if i go to my recovery keys because i actually save it to azure a day and you can see here we have our bitlocker key id and our recovery key show recovery key and you can see here we have our bitlocker key id and our recovery key and that's the device name thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to leave a comment in this in the, in the comment section of this video and i will reply to you as quick as possible subscribe to my youtube channel or you can send me a personal email by going to my blog and send me a mail and i will reply to you as quick as possible as well bye